are repeating the module session if you have any doubts you can ask i am quickly going through so this is our module website the site is www.it.iitb.ac.in/moodle so make sure before you are going to log in the cookie should be enabled otherwise it will not allow to log in the second is if somebody forgot the password if somebody forgot the password then you click on the lost password button either you want to give your username other otherwise you want to give your email address so i am giving an email address is at it dot then sir if you log into your u email then you can see the moodle admin message so you can see a message from moodle admin so this is only a confirmation message because anyone can try with your email address so this is a confirmation message once you click on this link then only moodle will generate automatically on user id and password for you that is temporary using that id you can log in only once so i am again clicking in this link and continue so if you go to your mailbox you can again see one more mail i received you can see the username with the temporary password you can see that so using this email at, uh, this password you can log in now sorry okay when you log in using that password immediately it will you want to change that password otherwise you can't go now i successfully change my password now i can log into my courses these all are the courses right now somebody forgot the password then only you want to use this option so one more option is there for the convenience of the remote center coordinator we have already made one more link so please note down the link because um, uh, when you are going to your places you want to handle with 50 to 100 participant and above so it is little bit difficult because that time maybe the server is too busy then for getting the mail it will take some time for avoiding that we are created one link that is also www.it.itb.ac.in/moodle/rm so then it will come like this if at least somebody forgot the uh, username put their email address here and submit it will immediately show the username so it is very easy for you people to solve the issues okay next one is how to download assignments sorry how to download the pdfs and all the things you you can see the schedule and introduction to moodle so if you go to introduction to moodle all the topics we are covered here is available with the screenshot maybe it is very useful for you second one is how to submit an assignment so for submitting assignments we will create a link here assignment submission link when you click on that link it will explain so click on the assignment submission link then you can submit the assignment but the file size should be 1 mb if it is bill above 1 mb then moodle will not accept then you will get an error why not to something like that so make sure the file size should be 1 mb next one is attending the quiz the quiz is available during the workshop 
so the faculty will say today there is a queue up to 4 to 5 something the link is open only on that time only if you click on the link that that time you can attend click on his then read the instructions carefully then queue one the time limit is 20 minute total question is 10 maximum marks 20 total page is 5 means per page two question is appearing when you start the queues yes you can see the counter is started here it is 20 minutes that's why this counter is started here now you can attend the queues you can click anything and randomly attend it next once you attend the all the questions it will show like that what are the questions you answered everything if you want to submit you can submit if you go want to go back then click on this button it will go to the question number 5 you go to question number 5 then you can attend second and everyone can see there is a flag there is a flag you are attend this quiz you already answered but still you have some doubt then you can just press here when you are completing that time it will show that question is flagged if you want to remove that flag you can remove that time so you can see question number 5 i have flag flag means you are already answered the already answered the question but still you have doubt is the answer is correct or not then you want to cross check so just flag that question now i am only 10 questions but during the workshop maybe it is 30 40 something like that then quickly you want to go back no this is very easy so i am finishing to be like in us are you sure plus it will finish okay so you can see my grade so in the main workshop when you are attending the queues after submitting you can only see the marks you can review that queues means uh, if you want to know what are the answers are correct what are the answers are wrong that is not possible during the queues once the queues is finished means the time duration 4 to 5 means after 5 o'clock only you can review so this is the way you want to attend the queues i will show you the live queues then forum forum if you want to post some questions in the forum then go to forum add new discussion topic then you can add here so please do not add same questions again and again see one thing we find is uh, participant start using the forum as a chat uh, thing just go there whatever you have put something in the discussion topic and start a new topic that's not a good idea what you should do is first you should review and read what others have asked and what is the reply and then go to the reply mode why don't you go to the uh, chat 
uh, sorry, discussion forum. There is already some discussion going on. Okay, so they, there is something about your airport confusion. Read what it said here and follow it up out there. Don't ask another question uh, about airport confusion or airport somewhere else. Why don't you go to uh, fluid mechanics? Okay. See, in fluid dynamics main workshop, you will see that the uh, coordinators have already put up part one BPP. Any discussion on this topic should be posted here only. Otherwise, you know, there will be one question on second coefficient of viscosity. After a few hours, there will be another similar question on second coefficient of viscosity. And the whole list just goes on increasing. This is supposed to be a tree structure, or a hierarchical structure. So somebody has asked a question. A related question should be asked within that. So that in one single topic, all the questions, related questions, answers, comments on answers, supplementary questions, they are all found together. Just follow that discipline. It's good for you and it's also good for the coordinators. Going yesterday we conducted a day before yesterday we conducted a queues for this CFD. You can see that CFD main workshop it is already attended around 1170 participants. So you can see the graphs. Once the QC is closed then you can review. Review means it is come like this. If you go then you can answer what is the correct answer, what is the wrong answer, everything you can see here. Everything it is recording. When you are press the button, everything it is recording. Coordinators, we can see the ah, coordinators. Yes. Not all the coordinates in your sender. Then you want to select it from here. If I am a coordinator of Amal Jodi, you just select it from here. We will get only the Amal Jodi. It is recommended that after you go back, this is the feedback log on to workshop. Moodle, two important things. At a personal level, even from your home, log on to Moodle and be comfortable with the discussion forum and other stuff in the Moodle, okay. particularly the new coordinators. Yes. Uh, and second thing is take the A view connection seriously. Uh, Sajjan Dikshit will send you a timetable, strictly follow that timetable and do keep in touch with him because that is the lifeline. If A view connection or internet connection does not work, it is as good as not having the workshop at your center. Okay.